morning, everybody. It is Monday, March 1st, and that means a few things. Number one, it's already March. February is done. We're starting March. Number two, we are in the ninth week of this nine weeks, the very last week of the nine weeks, students. That means you're going to be taking some tests this week. Here's our schedule. Here's what we're looking at. So Monday is going to be middle school taking science. Tuesday is going to be middle school taking ELA. Wednesday, middle school math and Thursday middle school social studies. High schoolers, maybe you're wondering about you. When do you test? Thursday and Friday, you're gonna take your nine weeks test just during your regular class period. With the exception of biology, I think you're gonna need two class periods. So welcome to the last week of the nine weeks. Also students, don't forget tomorrow evening from six o'clock to 7.30, you and your parents are invited to our virtual open house. You can't come back into the building, but your teachers are gonna send you special open house Zoom links. That way your families can see your teachers again and you can see your teachers outside of class. All right, we have a few more announcements, then we'll get to birthdays, pledges, and creed. Everybody, welcome back. Hope you have a great Monday. Hope you have a great week. Good morning, YWLA students and staff. This is your social worker, Ms. Gash. For today's Mindfulness Monday, I will be reading the top three self-compassion poems that you all created two weeks ago. As you listen, I hope you are inspired by the words in each poem. Sometimes life is tough, but know that you are enough. We might not get a trophy, but we are all worthy. Even when life is a mess, we are deserving of love and success. When you need self-compassion, just remember this saying, you are amazing. This poem was created by our third place winner, Miss Mala's advisory class. Love yourself enough to take action, accepting the good and bad in life. Life without joy and sadness is a life without balance. To be beautiful means to be yourself. You are enough. This poem was created by our second place winner, Miss Chapman's advisory class. Practice self-kindness. Take time out of your day for mindfulness. While we are so quick to self-mock, teach yourself how to do positive self-talk. Learn to love yourself in and out. You are a wonderful person without a doubt. This final poem was created by our first place winner, Miss Rayford's advisory class. Special thanks to each and every class that participated. Be sure to check out the self-compassion hearts around campus. Now it's time for the pledges and our creed. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. 
I am YWLA. I am a scholar. I am a leader. I am a young woman. Respecting myself, my family, my peers, my community. My image is of integrity, the portrait of pride. I hope, I dream, I believe. Maintaining the discipline to succeed and the courage to fail. I am, you are, we are, YWLA.